Nick Watt there. Joining me now, Conservative MP and Chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee, Crispin Blunt, who has declared he's backing uh, Boris Johnson. Very good evening to you. Evening. You were just explaining something to me. You're not really worried about the negotiation at all, because you think if it all fails, we're still in an OK situation. Well, the Foreign Affairs Committee looked at this, and we published our report on the 26th of April. I suggest people read it. Um, because it is highly likely our European partners are not going to be able to agree a negotiating strategy between themselves. They have to, and if, they, if there's a qualified minority b blocking a deal, either those people who want to deal uh, uh, positively with the UK or those who want to be seen to, be, to punish us, uh, then that doesn't work. And equally, the European Parliament has to approve this as well. Right. So and the if mood it, if there, all of that fails, so, then... So then... Uh, we go to have to sell into the European single market on most favoured nation terms of WTO rules. Tariffs at about an average of 3%. 10% in some areas, such and on cars Your and point is that that is not the end of the world. That is, that's perfect. And that's how we world. sell into the United okay. States. But no, but it's, it's better than that, Evan, because we then uh, get control of, of uh, immigration. We have control of free movement. We then don't have free movement okay. of labour into the UK. We don't have to pay no, £20 well, that's, billion look, pounds, uh, into the EU budget. OK, we don't get £10 billion back, but we can at least decide where that £20 billion gets spent. Uh, it gets even better than that. We are then in a position where we are regulating our own market and where there are issues OK, about... so I understand. You, you, you basically think the backstop, if everything else fails, is, is, is not too I don't bad. think people should what, appreciate what Boris just Can I just ask you, because I want to ask you what, what you understood by what Boris Johnson wrote in The Telegraph the other day. This line he wrote about mm. British people will be able to go and work in the EU, live, travel, study, buy homes and settle down there. What do you think... He meant by that when he wrote that was what was going to be the outcome of the negotiation. Uh, what I don't I don't know. Don't what, know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Can what, you, well, can well you I don't know. I don't know what Bo Boris uh, meant by that. You don't there know is what plainly going to be any outcome where that, well, if that happens look, and we don't. We, well, we can restrict them. Can we go and live in the United States if we have the means, the ability to do so? If we get a green card, is that what he meant when he said that? Uh, I can't go and but, live in the United States but I have there to get is, a job and get a green card. Uh, and go get a green card. Now, that Sorry, may I'll be, tell you why I'm pushing that. You're supporting him. He's written this thing which is, appears to imply we will stop them coming here, but we will have the right to go there. No, and if that's, He's uh, just been in the middle of a campaign. He ought to know whether that is achievable or not. And I'm asking you well, whether uh, you think well, it is achievable. Uh, my view uh, is that uh, we will come, have to come to a deal about how people move between the United Kingdom and the rest of the European Union. Can you see and we that they will allow those... us freedom of movement without us allowing them freedom of movement? Because that's no, the your candidate why, for Prime Minister, that's why, who is meant to be an expert on this, having run a campaign on it, has just written... Well, if you, I'm quite certain that everyone is now going to disinter everything that Boris has said, because there's obviously a significant campaign to try and... But is it unreasonable to take something he wrote in an article for which he was paid several thousand pounds at the end of a campaign, he wrote something that was reassuring... Well, about what would be the position for the British that appears to most commentators utterly incoherent. Does that a, not worry you about there is candidate a, there is, supporting? Uh, there's uncertainty uh, all over the place um, about, amongst the candidates, in, certainly, in, certainly in the media. Please, please let me uh, to finish this point. And it is extremely important in the national interest now that we actually get some, as much certainty as possible about what the bottom line is for the United Kingdom. Uh, the bottom line... You've explained the, the bottom line, explain, and that, which is... And that position... But if we take wait, wait, the wait, bottom hold, line, hold on, will I be on, able to live, travel, study, buy a home and settle down in France, do you think, under your bottom line? Well, no, if, there, if, the, right. if, the, if the negotiations... Uh, so how can conclude... Boris give me that reassurance in his article? Well, but that's no doubt what he is seeking to achieve. And it is obviously in the mutual interest of both the United Kingdom and our European partners, that that is the case. In exactly the same way, do I have an, in exactly the same way as it is in our mutual interest that the tariff regime, particularly in, in the interest of our European partners, that if they sell nearly twice as many manufactured goods to us as we sell to them, that they would want to see those tariffs reduced. Can I give you a quick fire round? Because there are some issues which I know bother. But do you think immigration from non-EU countries, if Boris, your candidate, wins, will go up or not, well, when I we have our new immigration regime? Because uh, promises were made to Asian communities that it would be easier to get relatives in. Do you think immigration will go up or down? Well, my view is that 
we should regulate immigration from outside the United Kingdom, uh, consistently across the peace, both the same rules. More or less rules. from outside the EU? Both the regulation should be the same okay, from outside the EU. you're not going to answer that. Do you well, think they, that... You're not Evan, answering it. No, but Evan, you, this is, Evan, this is rather more serious than trying to It's not. I'm score, just... These are really uh, basic to, questions which have not been answered but you know, through but you the campaign. But you know, but you know perfectly well... And which your well, candidate is now going you know, to stand for but, Prime Minister. But you know, but you know perfectly well that uh, the numbers of people that come into the United Kingdom are not necessarily... Uh, depending, depending on what system you set up, is then going to depend right. how many people come into the United Kingdom. So, so, if you put, so if you put a cap on the number of visas you're going to allow, that's one way of okay. controlling it. Are you going to seek so to control it by, ways, the, by the, the number of... Green, any, by any, issuing, issuing any green suggestion cards. made in the and campaign? Finally, and finally, we are going to have control over this. So we are then going to be, uh, do the very important uh, business of trying to protect a British unskilled and semi-skilled labour from having to compete with people who have professional qualifications coming from Central, East and Southern Europe or indeed anywhere else in the world. That's why they are not allowed into the United Kingdom. That is Kingdom a very long way outside, of saying outside the European we Union. don't know whether no. immigration will go up or not. Crispin Blunt, sorry we have to leave it there. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks.